What's a man got to do to get that kind of attention from you? It's hard to say exactly, but you seem to be doing fine. Well, great. Though truth is, it ain't me that wants you. Oh? No, Miss Jacqueline Natler does, from Natler Technologies. You know, creator of all things bright and beautiful. <laughs> Seal it, Larson. Ma'am. Feast your eyes on this, Laura. How does that make your wallet rumble? I'm sorry. I only play for sport. Then you'll like a big park. Peru. Vast mountain ranges to cover. Sheer walls of ice. Rocky crags. Savage winds. And there's this little trinket. An age-old artifact of mystical power is buried in the unfound tomb of Qualapec. That's my interest. You could leave tomorrow. Are you busy tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Welcome, everyone, to... Uh, what the hell was the name of this game? I think... What the f... No! Please don't. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to go through the menu here. I actually could just... There. Now it shouldn't go into demo mode. Anyway, as I was trying to say before I was so rudely interrupted... Welcome to this game. It is a game from 1996, if you can tell. Or if you can't, because... 1996. The good old game's re-release of it, because... Although I do still have... A re-release of the original games. Where the original ones went, I have no fucking clue. Um, My window system is a 64-bit. The original games require a 32-bit system. Yeah. So do the good old games version, I'm pretty sure, but... The good old games version makes extensive use of uh, DOSBox. So I can actually play the game. Recording it, however, oh dear god. As you've seen from the intro, um, the cutscenes play at 25, around about 25 frames per second. Fraps, it likes 15 frames, it likes 30 frames per second, 25 makes it shit its pants. And if at any point there's a screen transition, from gameplay to cutscene, and I have Fraps still active, the game will crash. It may not crash immediately, but it will crash. I can thankfully still- can you hear me over this music? I'll just have to try it or something. Maybe I'll just add in subtitles or whatever, I don't care. I did make a small sound test, but you- I did that in the caves, in the first level, so... Now with the, uh, music here, although... I suppose it's better for you to hear the music than me rambling on about nothing. Speaking of rambling... Yes, I'm gonna talk for a, a lot. Reason I'm playing this? Well... Eh, uh, Persona 4. It's all about a nice, but... I kinda need a gamepad to play it. And the gamepad I have... Uh, there's a bit of a problem with the internal cables, so it's basically dead. Which is a problem. This game, no problem, I can just use the uh, keyboard. Um, it's outside of all its other flaws, such as, say, the crashing. And if you're wondering, yes, the cutscenes, they really are supposed to look that bad. 1996, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a new game. Although you wouldn't be able to tell from this. Just an FYI, but for detail levels here... Does the theme music not loop? Well, I suppose that's better for me since you... I'll be sure... I can be sure you can hear me. I'm pretty sure in the original this just gives you a gamma option. It doesn't. It is kind of... It, yeah, whatever. Anyway, 
Uh, yeah. So if I can't get a gamepad replacement, and if I run out of videos, I'll just be recording this some more. I'll finish Persona 4. Don't you worry about that, I just, uh... Yeah. Anyway. Sound volume's lower. The controls. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. And here's the ultimate test to see if I can actually play this game. Rather respectively. Now, I'll splice in the uh, intro here. But I can't actually go to a new game right now, because if I do, it'll switch to a cutscene. And Fraps is recording, so if I do that, the game will crash. What I want to know is... This is just a save made immediately after the... Uh, it's right where you start. I want to know if I do this, will the game crash? Because if I have to cut the recording every time I'm gonna load, load a new game... Oh god. That is going to be painful. Well, It would seem that no. And yes, um, I'll splice in the uh, intro there. You can see the door is closed. Can I save? Um, what are you doing, game? Why are you showing that screen? You can't tell, but the game has crashed. You can tell because the save pause screen isn't working properly. It's not supposed to give you that picture every time. So yes, the game did crash, but it still works. Oh god. I should also mention that this is the PC version of the game. For those who have played the PS1 version... The PC version indeed lacks the music of the PS1 version, but apparently... There is a way to get the PS1 music into this game, in the PS for PC version. I did that. I didn't check if it worked though, so you tell me. I hope and pray to God this is actually going to work to some extent. The game is trying to trick you there into going there because you don't want to. You want to go here. And take this. It's a secret. I'll be trying to find. I'll try to find as many secrets as I can. I'm not going to find all of them, but I'll try. Ignore the uh, crashed safe thing there.
die. Oh, this game. I'm playing for the second one right now, not recording it, but just playing through it, and by God, it does not take fucking prisoners. Uh, here, for example, is a is an example of a secret that I cannot find. You can see I cannot latch onto that ledge, even though it looks like I should be able to. And I just have not found a way to get to that area otherwise. So there you have it. Oh boy. I guess having to stop fast before reloading every time, it's not... It may not sound so bad, but oh my, some areas in this game... I guess I've done worse back in the day, but... Yeah, uh... Light here in certain areas. They also are... God dang it. Not as effective as I would hope. Again, ignore the glitchy screen. It is... The game itself runs perfectly fine. Up until I close the game, in which, at which point it will crash. But by that point, I would have stopped recording, so you wouldn't. You guys won't notice. Oh man, this game. Just be glad the cut. Be glad the cutscenes actually work properly in this game. The second game, uh, there's a bit of a problem with DOS Box, and it doesn't play the cutscenes properly, let alone allow anyone to record it. Oh, and if you're wondering why I'm not playing this in windowed mode and using Camtasia, um, game does not work in windowed mode. Pretty sure... I'm pretty sure this game came out before the whole window thing. I do remember my grandfather having a computer that lacked, like, an actual window. It was just a black screen where you put in text commands. And, uh... After you did, you had a blue screen with a whole lot of options. No windows. At all. And these are enemies. You know, I might just play Anniversary. I do have the game, I just never played through it. I guess it would be fun uh, for you guys to see the differences between the original and Anniversary, but in in case I actually do this, um, I'm pretty sure more than a few people have LP'd Anniversary. Contrast the original because it's so difficult to LP. Oh, by the way. Yeah. Those save states do not fall. This here is a trap. There is a bear right there. This game hates you. Actually, that is a lie. This game is just slightly pissed at you. Atlas? Games, now they hate you. This game... It's just slightly pissed at you. Now Tomb Raider 2? And God help me when I get to it, Tomb Raider 3? They hate you. They... Fuck my life. I only took a little damage there, but I guess this is a good time as any to test. Can I actually load? Looks like I can, although the screen is still glitchy. Maybe if I stop the recording, maybe if I restart the game, it'll fix that. Or maybe it'll just crash. Well, it'll do that either way, but... Come on. Die in a fire. 
A fire of lead and bullets. You're dead. If you're wondering why I'm bothering to kill the bear, especially considering he can't get to me, well, think you. Laura's pretty acrobatic. But there's a certain move you don't have yet in this game. As far as I can tell, at least. Oh, crud. That's why I do it. Small money pack! Open the door. And yes, this game runs entirely on, uh, wizardry. You're going to run into some ancient ruins in this game, and they run entirely on wizardry. There is seriously no other way to justify what happens in this area. Not sure if I should keep... Yeah, I guess I should check the uh, recording and shit. I don't want to have sound issues or anything, so... Uh, here. Take a close look at this mummy dude. Okay. I checked. We're gonna have this black screen here. The game hasn't crashed, it's just... Fraps. As you will also note, this is a bit different, I think. Um... The last attempt at recording this failed because I was a moron. Not because the game, uh... That's a bad thing. For one, that takes away a lot of my health, and for another, there is a bear here. Let's not have that happen. Yeah. I, uh... Accidentally disabled my... Well, accidentally. I disabled my microphone. While I was checking the audio levels. And I didn't re-enable it, so... I had a bunch of video without any commentary. That did give me the ability to do a few things, though. First off, I made a complete fool of myself in the second level. So that won't happen again, thank God. And second, I can tell you all that my attempt at getting the PS1 music in this game has been successful. So you'll be hearing all that. Although, as soon as we get to level 3, I won't know what to expect myself. Because I've only played the PC version before, and this whole add in the PS1 version, version music stuff, that, uh... Dang it. That's all recent stuff I found out, so... Never did it before. Okay, was there a... Med pack? Dang it. Um, up. Thank you. Okay, if I remember correctly, I had a lot to talk about in the during the last of it. Attempt at recording this, but right now I don't remember what I was talking about, so. I guess we'll just have to pick up as we all go along here. Good job, Laura. Okay, I think you can hear... Yeah. There's a music trigger right up ahead, so...
Yeah. Um. Needless to say, I was a uh, rather surprised. First time hearing that. Anyway, that opens the door, but we're, we don't want to go there yet. Up the thing. Thank you. First off, I wish to explore this secret. Which gives us that pack. I really don't remember what I talked about. So it is a time switch. Huh. That's pretty funny, because... This game doesn't really make a lot of use of time switches. I think this is only one of... What? Five in the entire game? I might be wrong. Also a nice thing. The music does not stop when I go to save. It does that in the second game. Oh god. It's a wolf here, I think. What has we here? Um Not a whole lot. If you're wondering why I have my guns out... It's because right there... As the music kind of betrays... There's a wolf. Yes. One wolf. Game, it's one wolf. That hurts me, but that's not a problem because this right here is a level exit. And when I go through it, boom, level ends. Level uh, exit is a bit more fancy in the next game. Also, there's a wolf, there's another wolf, there's another wolf, and there's another wolf. So, that's four wolves right in the starting area. But that is not all. If you enter this room now, you will get a brown bear to the face for free. I did not expect that bear to actually, you know, come after me from the other room. The other uh, exit. Clever bear. This game, it tries to be hard, it is succeeding, because I keep getting mauled by the fucking bear. There you go. Yeah, this game tries to be hard, but it's a, it's a joke. Partially because I save state like a motherfucker, per usual. But more so because most of these enemies are, you know, bears and wolves. They are not, say, Venetian gang members with shotguns and the like. Speaking of which, there is stuff here. First... Thankfully, after having played through the level and failing miserably, I know where to go, so... This shouldn't take too long. The bad news is that I... 
Don't remember what, if anything, I should mention, but... I suppose if anyone wants to know something, they could... You know... Ask. Smack my head against the wall there. Because there is another lever right there. You might think what's wrong with it while well, it was phasing through the wall. It's a bit of a problem with this version. Good old games version. It has a few clipping issues. And by a few, I mean a lot. As you can also see, the game is starting to tear apart at its seams. Quite literally. But it still works. I can play it. So... That's something. Not a secret. This time we get these things. Also, med pack. You might be wondering what is the purpose of these med packs if I just go into save state every time? I like to collect them. Also, magnum clips. Two of them? Did I get two of them? I guess that's possible. This game doesn't tell you, uh... I don't think the game tells you if you get multiple instances of one object. It... whoops, didn't mean to do that. It does tell you in the second game, at least. Anyway... Plot! Not really. Not yet, anyway. First off, get in the thing. Next, this is a bit tricky, but saving doesn't interrupt the music. Nice. And a block. This block can be pushed. We need to do that. So, 